Hi, in this video I will show you how you can slice an image using GIMP and there's a couple of tools you can use to do this. One of them is the guillotine tool which is found under image transform and there it is. But the problem with this tool is that it's going to make each slice, each piece of the image, it's going to open it in a new tab here. And if you have a lot of pieces, this will uh, create a difficulty if you want to bring those pieces back into one canvas. So there's a better filter actually that uh, can do the job quicker if you want to slice the image into many pieces. Now both of these tools require for you to set guides which will tell uh, the filter where to cut the image. Now the borders, the layer boundary of the image also acts as a guide so you don't have to put a guide on the layer boundary. If you want to slice the image into uneven pieces you can do that by going to image guides new guide by percent and over here we have the the tool and now you can choose here for example to be a horizontal guide at 50 percent click ok and this will add a guide right here so this way you can slice the image exactly into two um, pieces that are the same size so you can add uh, other guides like this if you want to have uh, equal pieces of the image now i'm not going to do that i'm just going to I drag some guides here like this just click on the ruler hold the left mouse button and drag and place the guides wherever you want let's do one more over here for example and like I said we don't need to put guides on the edges on the layer boundary here so as you can see here the guides will tell us um, what will be our pieces over here this will be one piece here another here another this is a big one here these small ones will also be different pieces so let's go ahead now to the filters select web and click on this slice and we will have this dialog pop up over here i'm going to click and select the desktop where the uh, pieces will go and here I will select the image format to be JPEG and that's all I'm going to do, just click OK and it's already done now to bring back the each piece as a layer in, on this canvas we go to the file menu, open as layers and you see here on the desktop I have all of the pieces so I'm going to click here hold down the shift key and click over here and this will make a selection of all of these images then click open and you see over here we brought all of the different pieces now make sure we have the move tool pick a layer or guide and we start doing this as a puzzle I kept the guides on purpose so we can uh, put back the image together so this one should be over here this one I think over here this one over here this is a big one over here this one goes over here now I can't see the other pieces so I'm going to move this one here for now this is over here this one is over here I think This one is over here. This one, I think it's over here. Okay. This one has to be here. This one is over here. And the final one. Oops, I grabbed the guide, so I'm going to press Ctrl Z and click on this one to place it over here. Now we don't need the guides anymore, so let's go to the image menu, guides, remove all guides. And now I'm gonna do something else here so we can get a better idea of uh, how we cut our image. I'm gonna go over here to the bottom layer, which is the whole image, and fill it with white color. 
you can do that by going to the edit menu fill with background color which is white then I'm gonna go to image again and choose canvas size click on this icon to keep the aspect ratio the width and the height will go together then star which is shift 8 key and by 2 so I'm multiplying this width by 2 and this will apply also to the height because we have this here uh, locked so click the enter to apply the effect uh, to apply the calculation and then center then click resize I'm gonna zoom out a little bit and go to layer again layer to image size so this will uh, expand the layer boundary of this layer to the canvas which is now twice as big and we'll also fill it with white color so right now we can uh, grab some of the pieces of the image move them around to see what we did here so this is really a cool way to achieve many different effects with your images For example, just a quick example of what we can do once we have cut an image into different pieces. We can go ahead, starting with the top layer, go to filters, lights and shadow and choose drop shadow and get to the dialog here and increase the opacity a little bit. The offset also, let's make it 12 and the radius maybe a little bit and click OK to apply the effect and you see what this did to this piece we can do that uh, with each piece and if you go to filters you see repeat drop shadow the keyboard shortcut is Control F so we just go to the next piece and press Control F and this will apply the effect really fast go to the other one the next one and just press Control F to apply the effect keep clicking control F until we have all the pieces and now if I want to move them with the shadow if I grab the move tool and click here you'll see that it will not move with the shadow to make sure we do that we need to start merging each of these uh, pieces of the image with its shadow so we can right click and click merge down then on the next one merge down then on the next one the next one I'm gonna pause here to do it for all of these and now it will be easier for us to just grab each piece and adjust it to the position that we like I also opened this image over here it's not something that I've done but I saw this and this is how this kind of effect is done you just cut the image into pieces and then place a shadow on each piece and use a perspective tool or rotate tool to adjust each piece and you can achieve an effect like this so this is how you can slice an image in GIMP and use this as a start of a creative idea that you have. And I hope this video was useful. If it was, like it, leave me a comment. If you are new to my tutorial, subscribe. Visit my channel for more. Visit my second channel for Advanced 2 for Inkscape tutorials. Link is in the description. If you want to support me and my channel, you can donate a few bucks. Uh, on my pledge campaign link is also in the description so that's it for this one bye for now